guys, my name is Marcos Andrade. I'm from Roman North Congregation and I'm happy today to talk to you about Genesis chapter 10 and Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 to 9. In Genesis chapter 10 talks about the families of Shem, Ham and Japheth. So these are the three sons of Noah. After the flood, God instructed his people and Noah and his family to spread and populate the earth. So Genesis 10 basically states uh, the descendants that came from Noah's sons. Chapter 11 on the other side is very interesting. It's believed to have happened 100 years after the flood. It's a long time. So as people migrated to the east, they found a place in the land of Babylonia and they decided to settle there. At that point in time, all people of the earth spoke the same language, only one language, using the same words. Can you imagine how easy that was for people to communicate and giving their instructions to other people? They also had this technology called the bricks, and they could stack bricks on top of the bricks on top of the bricks and make things very quickly. And one day these people decided that they want to build the tallest tower on the earth. And they also wanted to reach the sky. Can you imagine how high they wanted to, that tower to be? And also they wanted to be famous and they wanted to keep them from being separated. And so they started building their constructions until one day God came down from heaven, looked at that tower and he didn't like it. Because the main reason behind that construction was that men wanted to glorify themselves and they were not following one of God's instruction, which was to scatter, to go to various um, random directions and populate the earth. So God then decided to stop that by confusing them. So God made them speak different languages. So they could not understand each other, they could not communicate, they could not give instructions, so therefore they could not continue building that tower. And they decided to move to different places, different parts of the world. That tower, at the end, was never completed, and it was called the Tower of Babel, or Tower of Confusion. Now, I am glad that I'm talking about that. I am Brazilian, I speak Portuguese, and I have English as my second language, uh, which means I had to spend many years studying and learning it. Um, English is a great achievement for me, and to be honest with you, for a long time I thought the glory was all to myself, that I was great, I was awesome, I was brilliant, I was smart, and uh, after a while, uh, getting a closer relationship with God on my journey, I decided to look back to see uh, that achievement, and I saw in a different way. I looked at my journey, the journey that I took, and I saw many doors that was opened without any explanation. The people that helped me to get to where I am now out of kindness and goodness, which are attributes of God. I can clearly see now that God was there all the time and I appreciate and I'm really grateful for that. And I want to finish this video uh, by asking you to pause after this video, just for a few seconds, and look back in your life achievements look to see all the things that you achieved, the greatest things that you got. And search for the signs of God. Search for His love, for His holiness, for His compassion, for His blessings. I'm sure that you'll be really amazed with the goodness of our Lord God. So I just want to say thank you very much and have a nice day.